The year is 2041, and World War III has wiped out two-thirds of the entire human population. But for some reason, nobody remembers the war ever happening. Instead, they're all shown a mandatory movie to refresh their memories. In this newfound world, the government made anything fictional illegal. Anything from fairy tales and manga to worshipping God or believing in the spiritual at all. In fact, anything that cannot be scientifically proven. To prevent any thought crime, the government assembled the Special Weapon Enforcement Division, or the SWE for short, to capture and then punish and rehabilitate those believers. And in the story of this anime, we follow the team with Takuya and Yuya Kuroki, but these are not the only main characters. On the other side, we have Naoto and Naoya Kirihara, brothers who have been hidden away from society for years to conceal their psychic abilities. They were promised to be released into a world that is accepting of the spiritual and that is finally ready for the existence, the existence of psychics that is, but instead they found themselves in this world, the one where spirituality is prosecuted and punished. Now they wander this hideous new world in search of an answer for their existence and an answer for why they've been lied to about their release. But soon they clash with the SWE and the aforementioned brothers, Takuya and Yuya, and find themselves on the run. If you found this premise interesting, you may be happy to hear that the anime actually delivers when it comes to the story. It's full of action-packed fights and well-thought-out characters as well as plot twists that make you go like, that's a good plot twist. And it even has a goth waifu. It's really a weeb's dream in the year 2021. So you may find yourself confused as to why the My Anime List rating for this anime is a measly 6.6 .6 out of 10. Of course, in real My Anime List fashion, uh, all of the reviews of low-rated shows tend to be positive. And in this particular case, I honestly honestly agree with them. I mean seriously, there is something wrong with the anime community when a show this good is rated with the mal's core equivalent of inhaling asbestos. Well, of course, there is a reason for it, and that is that this anime actually is animated in full 3D CG. Now hold your away clicking finger there for a second, because this time we're not talking about X-Arm, we're talking about Nighthead 2041. And in the case of this anime, it would really be a shame to dismiss the entire show just because it uses 3D models to animate its characters and environment. Because maybe for the first time we're actually seeing 3D animations done properly. It does still contain some of the usual mistakes that CG anime does, lower frame rates even though 3D models aren't restricted by that, and of course you have the mixing of hand-drawn characters and 3D models, but with basically all of the other mistakes that are usually committed, not in this anime. This show serves as a great reminder that all of this 3D CG stuff is finally headed into the right direction. I mean, just look at some of the scenes that I'm putting on display here for you. Most of these would not be possible, or it would take away too much time to animate them if they were done in a traditional way. So we can see that they're using their medium for the right cause. And honestly, it's not just that they're done it correctly, some of them look exceptionally beautiful especially once you add the soundtrack to them and put them in the context of the story. Now, if the animations were the only thing I wanted to talk about, I probably wouldn't have made this video. But instead, as I said in the beginning, this anime actually serves a great story. So, what is it exactly? At the beginning, we see two lines unfold. The line of the psychics, Naoto Kirihara, who uses telekinesis, and Naoya Kirihara, who uses reading. Who have just learned that the world was struck by World War III and that everyone is hostile towards spirituality and such. And the other line that we see is that of the Kuroki brothers, who, as part of the SWE, are just about to bust magic mix ass because the dude just started a cult. A schoolgirl shows up out of thin air and says, The barrier has been broken. Unless you become aware of the tuned connection, all moments will collapse. After this, uh, Takuya Kuroki awakens his spiritual power of telekinesis, as well as his brother Yuya later on discovering his power of reading. And then they're hit with an EMP grenade and Magic Mick escapes. Right after that, the two pairs of brothers run into each other in the bar, where Magic Mick meets the hot goth waifu, Kim 
Jimmy, who is actually the one who gave Mick the powers to cure. But the cure is all an illusion created by her. After the brief confrontation, we find out that Kimi actually works for the SWE and that all of this was set up so that they can arrest as many believers as possible. But wait a minute, I hear you say. Didn't you say that the SWE prosecutes people who believe in spiritual power and or use it? So why do they have psychics that work for them? Well, yes, you're right. In fact, they want all of their soldiers to awaken psychic powers. You see, it's all a government conspiracy. They all do it just to keep people in control. Lies and deceit, my friend. Lies and deceit. The SWE brother, Yuya, seeks help from Kimi to learn about his power and in a vision he sees his parents killed by the psychic brothers. But for some reason they are the same age as now, even though this happened about 15 years ago. And overcome by rage and sadness, Yuya tells this to his brother Takuya and they both vow to take revenge, even though in a very well animated fight later on, Naoto swears he never even knew their parents. Fast forward a couple of episodes, the psychic brothers learn the truth of all things, or at least what they believe is the truth. And in order not to spoil too much, and because you need a lot of story context for this, I'm only gonna explain the main thing, which is that World War III never happened. Instead, a dimensional rift happened that transported most of the spiritual believers to another reality, while leaving the deniers and skeptics behind. They also learned that the only reason that they're still on this reality is that they have a role to save the remaining spiritual believers by making them fulfill their own roles in fulfilling the prophecy to correct the future, which is total annihilation of the world. Of course, later we learn that the SWE has their own prophet who is trying to stop this world's destruction by eliminating the psychic brothers. She reveals that the SWE brothers, Yuya and Takuya, are paradoxically connected to the psychic brothers, Naoya and Naoto, respectively. And the only way to do so is to sever the connection. A couple of character developments later, we are hit with a moral dilemma. Do we kill the psychic brothers to preserve this world that lives under tyranny or do we let them fulfill their own destiny or maybe even there is another way the two readers from among the brothers decide that they can sever their own connection using their powers but this in turn betrays the swe and now the kuroki brothers are wanted and while their older brothers are protecting them from the government naoya and yuya come into contact to fulfill what they believe is the right thing but it doesn't work the annihilation has begun. With their last will, Naoto and Takuya jump into the magical spiral that signals the end of the world to help their brothers reach their goal. But instead, they discover something. They discover that they were never meant to sever their bonds. No, they were meant to connect. The Kirihara brothers' rule was not to save everybody themselves, but to teach their paradoxical counterparts what they know, so that they, in turn, may save the remaining society. And with their roles fulfilled, they turn into stardust and disappear, renewing the world and plunging it into a brighter future. Now, I deliberately left out some of the major plot twists that I've said throughout the story, like who the prophet actually is, and I left out some of the uh, cooler scenes and characterizations that happen throughout it. So today I may actually get you to watch this anime because believe me, it is as good as it sounds. So I wouldn't mind you telling me that if I actually managed to convince you to watch this anime or if you have already done it, to share your thoughts with me down in the comments below. But before you do that, uh, a like to the video would really be appreciated and please subscribe for seeing more videos like this and and, and also supporting the channel <clears throat> but for now uh this has been mangosh and i will see you all guys next time